All right. I, all right. Okay. Yeah. Well, again, important questions only. That way we can get rolling. All right. Uh, so, sorry, sorry. That's not what I meant. Sorry, I didn't know I was unmuted. My question is, can I draw one of my bills to the lead characters on the mountain? Okay, so we're going to get, um, I'm going to share my screen. The very first thing you're going to need right now is a pencil and your canvas. That's all you need. And I just want to remind you, do your best. And this is all about having fun. All right. Please do not stress out. Let me share my screen. Here we go. So here's a tip that I would like to um, tell you about. The clear part of your tray, when you open it up, that is an area where you can mix different shades of color. So you can mix yellow and green to get a lime green. You can mix green and black to get dark green. You can mix um, blue and green to get a turquoise. And so it works. Um, throughout the all the colors and so I would definitely use that to get a variety of colors tonight I hope that makes sense can I get a thumbs up if that makes sense yeah I think that's gonna really make our paintings look phenomenal tonight all right so on your screen step one let me read it to you first using your pencil lightly that means don't press hard draw a small hill then you're going to draw a triangle shaped pine tree on the right side of the canvas let me just say one thing you do not need to add too many details right now because we're going to do that with our sharpie next so all you're doing right now is lightly drawing a small hill and a triangle shaped pine tree. Go ahead and copy the size that I did mine. This is called the foreground. This is the object that's closest to us. So it's gonna look like a really big tree. So the tree is in front of us and the mountains are far, far away. Don't press too hard. That way, if you need to erase, you can erase. And let's see if I can um, try to put my screen on so I can try to see as many people as possible. If you have an, any important questions, raise your hand or type them in. I am going to stop sharing so you guys can see me do it in person. This is the hard part. I'm gonna tilt my screen down. And I like my hill to start at the bottom. I'm coming up. My tree is going to be a really thin, pointy triangle. But if you made um, a short tree, or a thick tree, that is cool. Keep this fairly simple on this part, like not too much information yet. Hold on, I see that there's a hand raised. And this should be hard to see right now because I you drew so, so lightly. We're not using our Sharpie yet. So that's all I have so far. Let me um, uh, go ahead and ask your question. I think that is Peyton. Go ahead and ask your question, Peyton. Do you have a question, sweetheart? Okay, can you, do you know how to unmute yourself? Okay, 
Well, um, when you figure it out, let me know. And then, or you can um, maybe ask your, your daddy for help. Um, I have Aaron. Do you have a question? I think on you need to unmute yourself. Go ahead. Ask your question. Oh, I forgot my question. You forgot. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, if that's the case, just un um lower your hand. Okay. Stoic Boston uh, boxing, do you have a important question before we move on? Well, we're just going to take it slow, and I chose a painting where it's pretty hard to mess up, okay? And bottom line is do your best and have fun. Okay. All right, can I get a thumbs up if you're ready for the Sharpie part? Because I am ready. Oh, good, 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 good. You guys are ready to roll. I'm going to share my screen, and we're moving on to step two. Fill in the details of the tree and the hill with your Sharpie. Let me go ahead and share my screen again. All right. There we go. So look at your screen. Show me the branches on your tree. Show me the trunk. Maybe you want to add some rocks on your hill, some stones. Show me that it's bumpy. This is an area where you can be a little more creative with your painting if you would like to. You can add another tree, maybe add a silhouette of a coyote. Or if you're a little nervous, keep it simple and that's okay. Take your time. Pine trees come in all shapes and sizes. I think the big thing to think about right now is um, don't be scared to make that tree fairly large on your painting. It is in the foreground, which means it's the closest thing to us. If you're comfortable with sharing, you can hold it up. Okay, very nice. I see that some people have their trees done and then also fill in the hill as well. Let's consider that being sort of like a silhouette or it's backlit. Okay, nice. Very nice, I see some very nice, very nice. I think that's Riley. Riley, is that you? I see, okay, Riley, very nice. Take your time. This is an important step. Um, uh, did you say to learn on your marker? Yes, we are not ready for paint yet. So all you're going to do is use your Sharpie to fill in the pine needles, the branches. You can add some more details if you feel comfortable with that. Oh my goodness, it's so wonderful to see everybody hard at work. Very nice. Cool, and I see everybody still working, which is fine. How about when you're done, go ahead and show me. That way I can kind of see um, how many people are still working. Very cool. Very cool. 
Um, it says Dana Luce. Yeah, I would say, I think that's your mom's name, right? Um, why don't you fill in your hill with Sharpie? I would definitely do that. If you have white spaces remaining, guess what? That's cool. You can add some green to your tree later on. You can add some brown or gray to your hill. Very cool. We definitely want to get this part done now and not later. Very nice. We have Miss Paige in the house. Nice to see Miss Paige here. Hi, Miss Paige. And I wanted to thank all the PTO parents that helped me put this together. That was so generous of you. And um, we raised over, um, I think, $700 for the art room which is super exciting. Very cool. I think that's Atticus. Is that Atticus and your brother? Very nice. Nice to see you, Atticus. You guys did a great job. And I still see a few more people working. Keep in mind, we got little pups here, kindergartners here. So we want to give them time. Yes, Ms. Haynes said we raised $800. That is phenomenal. Ooh. Ava, I love it. I see the Parsons family. Good work, boys. Pian, you're rocking it, girl. Love it. Catherine, beautiful. Okie dokie. Um, it seems like people are done. I don't want to go too slow or too fast. So if you think you're ready, can I get a thumbs up? Let's read the room here. Seeing a lot of thumbs up. Okay. Go ahead and take a look at step three and I'm going to share my screen. You're going to go back to your pencil. We're not ready for the paint yet. Okay, take a look at my screen first. You're gonna need your pencil on this one. Lightly draw six to seven wavy lines. Okay, you're gonna go from edge to edge. Have you ever seen the mountains on the most beautiful day and you see layers of the mountains? And there's blues and greens and purples and browns. So your painting is going to be more interesting if you have about six to seven wavy layers. Go slow. Take a look at my screen if you're not sure what to do. All right, I have a hand up. Let's see. Um, is this an important question? Okay, you may unmute yourself. Um, um, do we, um, do we, um, um, do we show it up to you? If you would like me to see it, you can hold it up to me. Okay. Cool, and one thing I didn't say is just keep this part in pencil. You do not need to outline in Sharpie. So you do not need to um, outline those lines in Sharpie. Keep them in pencil. Very nice. If you would like to show me, you can show me. Beautiful. Again, it's always a little hard for me to see everybody. I still haven't figured out how to um, get that perfect on Google Meet. I don't think Google Meet is as uh, sophisticated as Zoom. Can I get a thumbs up if you're ready to move on? 
Okay. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I don't want to leave anyone behind. All right, I'm going to tilt my screen down. One more time. Can I get a thumbs up if you're ready to move on? Wow, you guys are rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling. Okay. Really quick, let me catch up to you guys. So six to seven layers. I think my first layer is going to be like um, green hills. I'm going to say... Um, Bushes, so I got one, two, three, and then I'm going to have a mountain layer here. This is four. Another one. This part's a little nerve wracking, isn't it? Five. And six. I think I'm going to end up with six layers. The very top section is going to be my sky that part should be hard to see because it's done in pencil okay all right let's move on um if you would like to take a cookie break you can do so now before we whip out the paints i think this is the moment everyone's been waiting for <laughs> the cookie okay i'm just curious who start who already ate their cookie oh Oh, you guys have such great manners. It's a lot of people waited. I'm gonna get one of these adventure foods. Let's see. Brownie inspired cookies with caramel flavored cream and a hint of sea salt. Mm -hmm. And again, I wanted to thank Miss Crocker. She um, is a parent at Coyote Creek. She is the artist, definitely that she's an artist, right? That made those cookies. They are beautiful and yummy. I have a hand up. Is that an important question? You can unmute yourself. So for, so for the cookie, um, can we eat it after the... Um... Yeah, eat it when you're ready to eat it. You don't have to eat it right now. Okay, next step. I'll talk about this while you're um, ready for the next step. You're going to need your water now. You're going to need your paper towel. You're going to need your paint tray. Okay, so we are on step four right now. I'm going to share my screen with you one more time. We are on step four. Keep in mind, we're going to really be using greens right here. We're going to focus on greens greens and yellows. All right, who has a question? Go ahead and ask your question. <clears throat> Go ahead and ask your question. So are we gonna start mixing colors? Yeah, so um, take a look at my picture really quick. The very first layer, so you're just gonna pretend that these first three layers, two or three layers, are bushes or trees in the background really far away. And when they're far away, they change colors, or at least that's what they look like into our eyes. So the very first color, can you can just do plain green and see what that looks like. And I like to rub my brush in the color for a long time so I get a nice, vibrant, dark color. And I'm going to stop sharing so you can just see me work. And what I love about watercolors is you can always layer them. So right now I have plain green And I think I'm going to go back in and add some yellow to it. Maybe pretend that there is some wildflowers growing there. This could be a springtime. Scene. 
let me tell you, I think some of the best artists are artists that experiment and they're willing to try new things. So my first layer is a really bright green and I'm okay with that. But my next layer, I want it to be darker. Here's what I'm talking about. So I have a really bright green. And so the way you wanna make this dark green is you're gonna use that clear part of your watercolor set. So put some green there. Okay, um, put a piece of paper underneath it so you can see that better. So put some green on the clear part of your tray and then get some black. And I feel like I am doing some color chemistry right here. So if it seems too dark, go back and add some green. Hmm, what would it look like if I added some yellow there? Interesting. I think I'm gonna go a little bit dark and I'm still mixing. I haven't painted, I haven't put this color on my canvas yet. When you're ready to take the plunge, do it. When you feel like you're ready. Ooh, cool. I like that. This is a very natural looking painting, so you don't have to stress out too much about staying in your lines here. I hope everybody's, I see a lot of people working, which is great. Take your time. Let me say one thing while you're working. Don't, you need to fight the urge to pick up your painting. So do not pick up your painting while you're working. Otherwise it's gonna start dripping on itself. It's the colors are going to run into each other. So keep your painting flat on the table. Okay, I had um, someone ask a question. Go ahead and ask your question. Okay. So I would say if you wanna leave your first two layers, the green section, that would be perfect. Let's see if I can turn mine around so you can see what I have so far. Buddy, go ahead and ask your question. Um, so uh, does it need to be a good, the same color that you're doing? Or if it no. Is hey, that is a fantastic question. Let me answer that for you, okay? I'm going to share my screen. Fantastic question. So his question was, does it have to be the same colors? And my answer says, absolutely not. We're here to have fun. Because mine's getting a little like, um, oh, when I'm going to spy, it's getting light. Okay, so take a look at your screen, please. And the mountains look different depending on the time of the day, depending on the time of the year, depending on where you're at. So, for example, on the very top left one, if you wanted to just stick to purples, you could um, start with um, a purple that has a lot of black in it. And then you could, your next layer can be a purple and blue mixture. And then your next layer can be regular purple. And then your next layer can be purple and red and more red and more red. So. I am going to go ahead and just leave this screen up for you. 
If you look at the painting on the very bright, the very large picture, that's the one that I did. My next color was turquoise. So what I did there is I started with green and blue and I mixed it in my paint tray on the side. I hope that makes sense. Can I get a thumbs up if that makes sense? Okay, very nice. So we're all doing this together, but let go ahead and start working on your next sections. And I think I have someone that needs to mute themselves. Just, okay. I just love turquoise. So I think my next section is going to be turquoise. Turquoise means it is blue and green mixed together. If you need to take a cookie break, you can take a cookie break. Um, the next thing I wanted to say is um, you're gonna start bumping into your tree right now and that's okay. Go ahead and just paint right over your tree. Do not worry about that. Ooh, I'm gonna have to um, show you what I'm doing because I really like the way this color turned out. Do not pick up your canvas though. Let me stop sharing. Now just turn mine around. I like this um, turquoise color I have for my next layer. I just think that's such a pretty, pretty color. Okie dokie, guess what? My computer battery is running low. Keep working and move on to your next layers when you're ready for that. Keep mixing your colors. Don't be scared to mix your colors up. All right, I'll be right back. love that we're doing this together isn't this fun like we're all in our own homes but we're just sharing this experience together I think that is so cool okay moving on to my next color I think I'm gonna do sort of like a simple just a plain blue this time all right does somebody have a question go ahead and ask your question make sure it's an important question So if you're trying to stick with me on my painting that I did in my example, I am currently on just like a plain blue, the plain, like just a regular blue. I didn't really do anything special to that. You could add some purple to it if that's interesting to you. You could add some brown to your blue and see what happens. You can add some black to your blue. And you're gonna have to ask yourself, is this a sunrise or sunset? <laughs> is this Colorado painting or is this somewhere else? So I'm from New Mexico and the mountains were in my city are in the east and the mountains here in Denver in Highlands Ranch are in the west.
the mountains are beautiful in New Mexico. There's a lot of dust in the air, so it um, we have some really colorful, beautiful sunsets in New Mexico. Ooh, very cool. I'm going to stop sharing so you can see what I have so far. Okie dokie. Here's what I love about watercolor. You can always come back to it. So once it starts, once it dries, you can come back to it. You can darken your colors or lighten your colors. Think of the water as like your eraser here. I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. We have someone, someone who's just joining us. And you could go darker as you work your way up. I'm curious what some what uh, about what um, brown looks like with my blue. So you know what? Just go for it. Don't don't be scared to do that. If your colors start blending in together, guess what? That's okay. If you feel like you want to let it dry for a second, that's okay. I don't know um, how, I think it's 642, so I hope that um, that's okay for everybody in terms of time. Hmm, interesting. I love watercolor. I love how the, wa the colors mix together. It's really um, just a special thing about this material and they're so inexpensive too that's what I love about them okay um I would just want to say your very last layer should be your sky and so depending on um your time of day your color may be different if you wanted to do like just a daytime sky, what I would do is um, start with a blue and add a lot of water to it on your mixing tray. So we don't have white, but we have water. So when you add water to your color, your color won't be as bright. Um, I had somebody that just joined us. Um, I have a printout of the instructions um, in your packet so you can catch up. Also, I am recording this, so um, I can email this to you at an, at a, after this. All right, somebody have an important question? I see a hand, hand that went up. So there's, I also have a question, like I have two questions that, um, so it doesn't matter if um uh, what which colors we mix uh, in the in, uh, in the order or can we like um mix? no that's that's a great question I would say you can just really experiment um with it or you can kind of just use greens blues and purples you can add browns to it just think about the colors that you see the mountains in real life and also. Oh, that's a great question. Well, the first thing you do, don't. Well, the first thing you do is not freak out. That that just happens. Those brushes um, are good brushes, but they're also not the best brushes. What you should do is just leave the hair there, and then at the very end, when it's completely dry, 
it'll just fall off. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you have hairs from your paintbrush falling off, don't panic. Don't panic. Okay, so my very last mountain layer, I decided to do like a purple brown. I hope everybody's having fun. I think it'd be really cool if this was a, a Coyote Creek tradition. I did a paint night in the fall with um, a few students who won. Their parents like bid at an auction and that was really fun. They did um, a painting party with me in my classroom. That was so fun. Okay, I have a hand raised. I think it's Miss Haynes. What's your question, Miss Haynes? Um, how, how are you going to do a sky when it's nighttime? Good question. Well, how many of you remember um, when we did our Aurora Borealis project last year? Yeah, you can have several colors in your night sky. I think it would be cool to see black with a little bit of blue with a little bit of purple um or like if you're trying to do a night sky or if that stresses you out you could do just black okay have fun with it no stress oh see i'm loving the way mine's turning out this is really cool let's see i can show you I don't want to lift it too much because then my colors are going to start dripping. What I'm noticing is my first layer, my greens, they're already dry, which is cool. Um, raise your hand if you got to sleep in a little bit today. Who stayed in their jammies for a while today? Yeah, very cool. I see some kids that are done. Cool. Resist the urge to pick it up until it's completely dry. Peyton, did you have a question? Yeah, there you go. Um, how do you make sunset? Sunset. Well, that's a great question. A sunset can be um, warm colors. So it could be... Um, Think about like the sun, it's like yellow. So it could go from like yellow to orange to red, the warm color. So like colors of the sun. Um, I'm gonna share my screen again one more time. Maybe you can get some inspiration from a few of these color, color schemes. That's what I call them is, they're like combinations of colors. computer is being a little bit slow so Peyton hopefully this answers your question take a look at your screen sweetheart sunsets can be all different colors right so um, the one on the very bottom left is a beautiful sunset that I feel like I see a lot of the time is it starts with like blue and then purple and then orange and then yellow Or the one on the top, it sort of is like a purple and yellow. That's kind of cool. Or you can just stick to blue with a lot of water so that it just looks like a daytime sky. Who already ate their cookie? Raise your hand if you ate that cookie already. Oh boy. I know, there needs to be more cookies. We can never have enough cookies. Mmm. Who's already stocked up on their Girl Scout cookies? I'm just curious. <laughs> There's always Girl Scout cookies in the teacher's lounge. It is so dangerous. And I'll leave that screen up for you in case you're trying to figure out how to do your sky. You 
you guys are amazing. So we've been here for about almost an hour. I hope that was a good amount of time for you. It's so good to see you guys again in our homes, in the comfort of our homes. And I have a special guest for you here at home, at my house. Let's see. I have to wake her up though. Let's see. My computer's frozen. Give me one second. <clears throat> okay, I have a special guest while you're working. Stay right. I'll be right back. <laughs> This is my puppy, Quincy. Hello, everybody. Hi, she was sleeping on the couch. Raise your hand if you have a pet next to you. Raise your hand if you got a little stinker pet. Yep. Cool. This is the first time we've had a dog in a long time because we were waiting for our kids to get older so they can help us. Okay, I see some kids raising their hands for questions. If you have a question, go ahead and unmute yourself. Uh, I finished. Uh, what do I do now since I finished? Great question. I have a feeling a lot of people are um, almost done at this point. My biggest suggestion is let it dry. Don't pick it up. Those watercolors can... Um, drip and blend together. So we don't really want that to happen. Let it dry. Um, feel free to hang these up in your house. Um, they don't really stick to the um, refrigerator super well unless you put like a magnet on the back. But you could put like a command strip on it. Those are nice. Um, is there any other questions? If you have a question, go ahead and unmute yourself. Oh, I see Catherine's. Um, what I would, what you could do if you would like to share, you can tilt your screen down and um, you might have to flip your painting around and just leave it on your table. And if it's too hard to do that, you don't have to do that. Cause I know some of you are maybe scared to touch your mommy and daddy's computers. I'm using my husband's very fancy MacBook Pro. So I can't put my sticky cookie fingers on it. <laughs> cool, I didn't do my sky yet because I'm still trying to figure out what to do for my sky. How many of you had fun? I hope you had fun so we can do this again. Oh, I'm so happy. I really am. This is so cool. What I'm hoping for next year is we can do a fall one and a spring one. So maybe, or we could do like a holiday painting. That would be fun. I like doing it remotely because we can get more participants this way. When it's at school, it's really hard to squeeze 90 people in one room. A couple things to look ahead um, to think about in the future. I'm going to be doing original works again this year. And so what that means is I'm going to be sending your favorite or best piece of art that you did at school this year to a company. And that company is going to scan your artwork. And they're going to go. And then if your parents would like to, they can order your piece of artwork on a magnet or a towel or a mug, stickers, um, 
what I did is I ordered a sketchbook um, for my kids. So it was a sketchbook with white paper and their art is on the cover. They're really great gifts for yourself or even for your family. Um, so I'll be doing that soon. I would say um, probably in March or April. Keep keep your eyes open for that in the parent newsletters. Um, is there anyone that has any important questions? Very cool. Did you have fun, Lindsay? Yeah. I see Lindsay with her Broncos shirt on. Very nice. I think a lot of you should be finishing up right now. If you enjoyed yourself, um, you know, these, what I love about watercolors is they're inexpensive. They last forever. If you have some white paper at home, try another one. These canvases are super inexpensive. I think you can find them at any art store in town or Amazon. I'm not sure if Walmart has them, but the, I love these. They're super inexpensive. They make great gifts and you can put a frame around them or just leave them like this. Cool. I'm going to put some music on while, um, while you all wrap up and um, feel free to get out of your seats and dance, finish your cookies. If you would like to um, fold your screen down so you can show your painting. And yeah, I think we're, we're almost done. Get some music. This is like the kids bop 2022 channel. I don't know why my computer is like really slow right now. Um, I have someone asking a question. Go ahead. I don't have uh, a question. I just want to, I have to go eat dinner, so I just want to say goodbye. Oh, thank you for saying goodbye. That's what I figured. Um, we've been here for an hour, and so I didn't want to, you know, keep you guys too long. I also need to eat dinner. And um, I'm hungry. I'm not sure what I'm going to do tonight for dinner. Very nice. Let's see. I see Lindsay's. Very cool. I see Nikki Bass. I'm not sure which student that was. Um, I see uh, Brianna Kendrick. You have your um, raising your hand. Yeah, I just wanted to say this was really awesome. Oh. Thank you for spearheading this idea. It's oh. It's been really, really great. Oh, well, you know what? I really appreciate your feedback because I just never know, you know, being the art teacher, am I? But I am. Um, I think it's really important for our school to build community. I think that's one of the most important aspects of, um, of having a good school. So I really hope we can do this more in the future. And I really want to thank all the parents and even all my students for all your positivity that you guys always provide to me. You guys I'm living the dream, really. I have the best job in the whole world, so thank you. Um, ooh, I'm seeing some more students share their finished pieces. These are phenomenal. Very cool. I hope that it wasn't stressful. I hope it was fun for everyone. It's so nice to see families doing this together. It was a really fun Friday night activity. Beautiful. Cool. Oh, nice, Jace. Very cool. Peyton, that turned out really great. Riley, I like I liked seeing yours. That was awesome. Very cool. Uh, if you have a question, please feel free to um, unmute yourself. That's a good idea. I might do a light blue only because um, 
since you see a lot of colors, it's almost still like a daytime painting or like a daytime. There's lots of colors in it. Very cool. Thank you to everyone that came. You guys are my heroes. You guys supporting the classrooms. We can buy some, you guys know how expensive art materials are. Sharpies, paint, glaze, clay, markers, paper, paint, ketchup for ketchup day. I love ketchup day. Me too. I love ketchup day. Don't be surprised if I bring ketchup for ketchup day one of these days. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I always say no. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, I had a good time. Thank you guys. Have a good dinner. Have a good four day weekend. Bye everyone. You're very welcome. Thank you. Oh, bye everyone. Goodbye. I can't wait. I'm, I really hope that these um, brighten up your homes. Bye everyone, thank you so much.